lost a candidate but gained renewed attention last month when Senator Leland Yee withdrew after being charged in a criminal conspiracy. Mark Dembski reports on why today's debate with several other top candidates didn't do much to squash the controversy. California's Secretary of State race has already become one of the most interesting on the June primary calendar. The race was reshuffled after the arrest of Senator Leland Yee, who now faces criminal conspiracy charges after an FBI sting operation. But that's not the only reason keeping this race in the spotlight. It's getting a lot of interest because the other statewide races are so boring. Um, they're either uncontested or it's, they're just a sleeper. And David Curtis just doesn't have an interest in politics. He was downtown Wednesday vehemently protesting the decision by the Sacramento Press Club to hold a debate that he was not included in. So it took sort of an unfortunate decision based on a club to get uh, the general public to even hear about me. The Green Party candidate's argument, given a recent field poll which shows him to be in third place, Curtis feels he deserved a place on the stage Wednesday. Participating in this event was mission critical. So, frankly, the Sacramento Press Club dropped the ball. Certainly not personal about him. Uh, he didn't give us an opportunity to respond to him or speak with him before he began lashing out at us. So we didn't see any need to change our format. No doubt the exclusion of Curtis played, a, played to his favor rather today, although he is well behind the two leading candidates for Secretary of State, that being Pepperdine University academic Pete Peterson and Democratic Senator Alex Padilla.